just had to check it out. Sacramento with a look at their kids area and oh oh yeah Dinger's in Dinger good is morning. in. Good morning. So hanging out with my friend Dinger this morning and he wanted to make sure that we had something great for the start of the new season. So check this out. Now you can see two tower bridges here Lava. in Sacramento, right in West Sacramento. Here we got to test it out. Yeah. We did this on Sunday with the kids. Oh boy, not all the kids are as tall as me. But yes. That slide is can be approved. This is so yeah. nice to be able to have this. This actually isn't everything that they are going to be doing to this area. And you know, Cody's been saying how great this weather is. Looking forward to baseball season. If this doesn't make you excited for baseball season, I don't know what will. This weather is great, and you guys are going to have something that's going to make it even nicer, Robert. What are you guys planning for this area? Yeah. So in addition to the brand new Tower Bridge play structure area, we're going to be putting in a mist pad. So you're kind of Padded ground that shoots water up every now and then um, for those hot and you know 98 degree Sacramento nights. Kids can come out here, enjoy that, cool off a little bit, and take in a River Cats game that way. Yeah, you guys already have tickets available. April mm -hmm. 6th is opening night. The day before, though, you guys are doing something fun with San Jose. What's that? Yeah, so opening night, like you said, Thursday, April 6th, but on Wednesday, April 5th, we're hosting the San Jose Giants. So they're going to come up here and play the River Cats in a scrimmage. Uh, tickets are five or ten dollars, depending on what kind of level you want to get. It's going to be a really cool way to kind of see all of the Giants' top prospects all in one place. Should be a lot of fun. Okay, now I know that we. Said the slide was uh, can be approved, but who really cares about that? Let's see if it's Dinger approved because we also got to get Dinger out of here because he has a very special appointment today. He's going to be meeting some students that are coming out here. How often do you guys do uh, groups like that? Uh, pretty often, more so during the season. We'll have we'll have student groups out throughout the year. But yeah, Dinger's got one coming up this this morning here. He's going to go give a give some kids a tour of the ballpark and uh, have some fun with that. Yeah, that must be so fun. And Robert was also telling us that you know they got a little bit of a late start on the field here because of all of the weather that we've been having. But boy, it looks beautiful out here. Your kids are going to like this. Really, the next chance for them to uh, be able to experience this. I know you guys had like an open house on mm -hmm. Sunday. But next chance, is that that April 5th game? Yeah, the next chance when the ballpark will be open to the fans will be, be Wednesday, April 5th for that scrimmage game. And then, uh, yeah, kind of open all year from there on. Anything else new we can expect out here? Yeah, all along the con uh, all along the uh, the concourse, we have all new storefronts. So our food and beverage services have been totally revamped. All of these cool, really, really cool themed storefronts. You've got like your Irish pub, your Mexican cantina, your California kitchen cooking. So a lot of really cool new stuff on the menu for fans here at Rayleigh Field, too. Good. Dinger approves of the food? Yeah, he likes it. We got to make sure we get him fed too after he does this uh, this tour with these uh, students. Get on out here to Rayleigh Field. Uh, make sure you're supporting our River Cats and get those tickets because they will go fast. Yes, Guys? fantastic. It looks great. Thanks, Camby. Ah, thanks, Dinger and Camby. That's.